to Avatar bringing the seven healers, a couple hogs. Okay. Can't really see his face. I should probably move his webcam. Can't really see him at all. Oh boy. With a couple of loons, but we'll see here. What do we want to get in this base out? A question mark. There it is. Starts off with that warden walk. Off to the far left side. A couple of to move into this air defense. Does he grab it? Yes. No. Oh, yes. The death damage of the Rockaloon does secure that. As the E-Dragon under Rage is going to help. Oh, he missed the Rage on the E-Dragon. So it didn't chain under Rage. So he's going to freeze the RC. Now the RC dies. The E-Dragon is still taking this area down. Look at that. Take it out the Scatter. Take it out the Ground Expo. Very nice value from this E-Drag under Rage. As Sneakies are going to try to go for the Town Hall. Or what? No. So, okay, it's a Blizzard. Never mind. It's a Blizzard to help remove the Town Hall. And Town Hall. No! The Super Wizard's a walk! Oh! <gasps> Whew. Just barely got that down. But this E-Dragon's still up. How is this E-Drag still going? What? It cleared this bottom compartment. There's a jump. Even the wall break open this section right through here as he's going to push his heroes still has five more healers to use where are they going to go through king needs to come through to move his way into the mo nope king walks the king does what the king does best pulls some healers and he's walking the warden doesn't know where to go decides to follow this queen oh my now the monolith is hitting this queen pops that warden ability Moving in now, lures out some of the clan castle. Does an RC charge to the bottom side of this base. Freezes the single as the RC now is gonna, unfortunately going to get stuck on this Lava Hound. Queen's continuing through, but no healers for her. Trying to clear the core, but this RC and the Hound in the middle there. He wanted that King to move all the way through the core of this base. But that King is dead up top. Healers are up to the Barbarians. Hound pops. Drops a few more balloons to try to protect this royal champion or cause something to be distracted. Has a few more hogs to move through. Oh, man, that king. How does he walk all the way up and not towards where that storage was, making the royal champion invisible? Going to work to help try to remove the single target infernal. Does have the ability. There it is. It goes off. Gets a little bit more. Down that goes. Send some hogs in, but... One tile difference. That's all it takes for the king or your heroes. Things that walk the wrong way. Very nice try. And it's going to be in the 70s. Trying to approach in 80%. The archer tower goes down 78 with about 20 seconds left. So it's going to be about 80. Probably an 80. Unless the goblin can help somewhere. Let's see. Maybe down here. Ooh. Probably can grab that. He's not looking at it. Oh, that doesn't go down. It's got one goblin. Drop a wall break up there. You got some troops. And he decides, nope. Doesn't want to use them. It is the 80% two star for Avatar. Nice try. Pat the Lino with the 12 hogs. Handful of sneakies. What does he want to grab here? With a bunch of sneaky goblins to the left side. Wants to probably sneak you to the town hall. Pretty much with a couple invis. Yes, handful of skeleton donut. Or I was skeleton donuts. I would say handful of skelly spells. But he's got a poison, so probably not looking. Oh, that was close. But he's able to secure that town hall. And it goes down well done there. As we have balloons and the queen off to the far right side with headhunters running over to her. Electro Titan is going to try to help. There's a skeleton on towards the king. Oh, that queen. Oh, my goodness. Wait, that queen! <laughs> the queen has, like, no health, but the unicorn, I guess, will help heal her up a little bit. Uh, what? As the... Okay, the Electro Titan, unfortunately, is dying off here, but... Can the circle of the Electro Titan kill off these pups? I don't know why the pups are just not dying to the Electro Titan, but I guess the queen is getting healed up. And the Flame Flicker is getting hit by the cannon there, but it, the queen is continuing a herd charge in... With a couple more skeletons to try to provide the protection, distraction for this queen. Wants to get the king into the multi. Jeez, look at the queen! Her health is still going up! Oh my. 
And so we got a bat spell onto the air defense of the far left side. Queen's ability now forced. Can she get this other ground expo? That'll be huge for the flame flinger. As he sends the royal champion to the top side, makes the queen invisible. She, oh, nope, flame flinger is getting hit by the ground expo. It's going to open up with some hogs coming to the top side. Queen is dead. Hogs coming out of that flame flinger. Pops the warden ability. Royal champion's moving in. Really trying to charge these hogs straight into the core near that eagle art or to the multi in the monolith, I should say. The eagle's gone from the queen. Has a few loons to the backside, but he doesn't have any heals. The hogs are all gone. He wanted that flame flinger to get way more value towards that multi target inferno. Wanted that queen to reach both of the expos there, but that queen getting hit by those headhunters so much. Did so much damage there. Nice try to Patolino. It is going to be the two-star here, but it's going to be a close two-star, meaning it's going to be all tied up. On stars, percentage is going to be super close here, so it's going to be anyone's match, because remember, at the end of this war, there is the judge voting, which can sway the outcome. It's only changed one war so far in the competition. Is the judges can give either zero, one, two, or three bonus stars, determining deemed whatever attack they believe was the most creative. But there it is, only a two star, eighty-four percent. Quake, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, as he's got that clone spell with some headhunters, four healers, the two super dragons. We saw super dragons being used to remove inferno towers. Oh, look at that. He's sending the Super Dragons to remove an Inferno and get towards the Z-Goal. We saw Homura do it in another Creative Master Series. And now, pushing these Super Dragons, pulling some red air bombs, taking out the air defenses with the Rocket Loons. They go down. The Wizard going to help try to funnel these Super Dragons straight into this Eagle Artillery. Look at this. There's a blimp right behind the Super Dragons. Trying to make his way straight in between. Okay. There's the double clone. Oh, he finds a tornado trap, but the clone up balloons get spun. There's an E-Dragon inside the mix. Uh-oh. The E-Dragon, the loons are just vaporized. They're gone. He did not, he was not able to actually get the other scatter shot. As more rocket loons are coming in to the bottom side. The queen with her healers. But he wanted to get both of the scatters on each side here. As the queen will kind of do a little queen charge in towards this tassel farm. King, warden, headhunter in towards the monolith over here. As he's continuing this charge. The king's got his ability. Look at those skeletons. Provided that distraction. Does have a jump spell. There's the jump for the queen to make her way towards the town hall. But the invisibility spell is coming back here. The queen's going to remove this ice golem. King's got his ability. Warden of the Eternal Tome. Pops the King ability now. Pops the Warden ability. As, oh, there is some openings in there. So the Town Hall, the invisibility gets activated here. Wants to get this Queen to continue her charge in. And there's a giant Ice Golem and Royal Champion to the top side. Queen and her ability. He's going to have to freeze something. He's going to freeze the Town Hall and the Invis that's coming back. But he's got to go into the enemy Royal Champion. This section right here is deadly. He definitely did not want that to stay up. He wanted the cloned up balloons from that blimp to take it out. But he still has queen ability. There's the freeze out of the scatter. The raw champion goes down. Town hall has been secured. Oh man, imagine if all that went down from the clone and the tornado trap was not there. It could have been a completely different attack. The smallest things can definitely affect the attacks there as it's going to be again. Closing in towards an 80% here. And the match is super close as Bernal will most likely be going next. As the queen just goes down right there. 81. Oh man. I'm sure he would love to try that again if the Trineo Trap was not there. Fallen just short as it is an 81% two star. Bernal. With the Hog Riders. Handful of Ice Golems. He's got the recall spell and a little bit of a queen charge. Where are you going to start? A oh, not a queen charge. A warden walk. Okay. Going to warden walk near this royal champion. This face looks kind of familiar 
as a member of Sing It, where the Royal Champion caused the Warden to pop ability. Uh-oh. Tesla's there. That's a lot of damage on this Warden. Rage is down. Get the freeze. Get at the freeze. Get at the freeze. Get at the freeze. No! Whoa. Okay. He gets away with not having the freeze. The Headhunter's Clutch. Double Ground Skeleton comes out. The uh, Electro Owl needs a help. The Electro Owl is dying. Oh, no. Wait. He actually took out that scatter shot. There's the recall. Oh, look at that. He does exactly what we saw from, I think it was Kekko uh, and Mammoth, where they send the healers to go to the queen charge. You do a bit of a warden walk, passing the healers off to the queen. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Let's see what now Bernal can do with the barbarian, the wizard, to take out the super minion. There's the poison to help protect these healers. They stay alive. And now the queen needs to continue her charge. Super minion just die in the poison already. Oh my. Finally it dies off. Queen's going to go to the wizard tower. As we've got some more. Oh, Sneakies were over here. Balloon. Okay. Queen is pathing your way to that town hall. Okay. That balloon pulling a sneaky air mine wants to continue to protect these healers of the queen. The eagle though unfortunately does activate. Makes the queen invisible. Ice, uh, wait, is that four ice golems here? All going in with the king and the warden, which was recalled. Out comes Rocket Loons, which he can't, unfortunately, target. He he sends the world champion in to try to help target. There's the king. Pop the ability. There's a rage. Oh, he loses the king. It does not pop the warden ability. He's going to pop it now to protect the headhunters. I think the king came back alive with the phoenix, but he's going to die off here. He's going to disappear. The flame flinger needs to open and then send the hogs around this base. There's the hogs coming from the right side. The ice golems are freezing up everything in the core. That queen finally now dies to the monolith. But the hogs need to move through. He has eight more left. But he has to get through a handful of Teslas. The enemy queen. The warden is gone. Drops a yeti over there. He didn't have anything to potentially jump his way into the monolith. No jump spell there. Now sends hogs around the edges. And again... Is this going to be closing in towards an 80% if you can grab out the outside buildings? It looks like it'll be just in the 70s as he doesn't have any cleanup as that's all gone. Nice try to Bernal here. But, uh, oof. You know, passing off those healers onto a queen charge. Saw from Kako. Really cool. Not able to get that one. As all the ice golems in the core, that king just dying off as another two-star comes in this match. With the lightning. Four yetis as well, starting that queen. To do a bit of queen walk. He does have six lightning earthquake, looking to take out the invisibility spell and the monolith and a sweeper. Okay. Not dropping the healers just yet onto the queen. She's... Oh, 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 oh. Finally now deploying the healers. Waiting as long as possible. There we go. As the balloon goes down. Gonna rage up this queen. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Good thing that rage keeping that queen's ability intact. As she's charging her way through. King into the enemy queen. That cannon's over there. Gonna have to maybe drop a balloon or something for it. She sends a golem off to the left side. Sends a battle drill into the eagle artillery to try to help secure that. And that actually stuns the Eagle Artillery, which is really nice. Sends the Arsene Warden early. Now the Queen and King are backtracking to the cannon. Then we'll eventually charge into the multi. Look at this. As it continues his way through, does have a handful of Yetis. Queen, oh, she might not... The King actually goes to the multi. Pulls out the CC. The multi is going to go down. Battle Drill opens. Takes out that multi. Pops the Warden ability early here. What's the plan for the Town Hall as he continues his way through? Uh... That queen is still going. I guess the plan is to get the queen to charge her way to that town hall. Look at the charge. The wall break opens up the wizard tower section. He's still moving through. It's not looking too bad. The air expo is going down. Another wall break to get this queen to charge into this town hall. Look at the wall break. Boom. Opens up the compartment. He clears that. Still is another rage. Two freezes. The charge through this base. The battle drill to get that. Wow. This queen is getting so much value. Move it around. Brilliant job. Now Yeti's off to the outside by the Teslas. Pulling those skeleton traps. Queen's still going. 
and he still has a poison two freezes to utilize very nice plan there the zap queen charge battle joke going into the core taking out that value and even has the queen ability intact with a couple spells left over doesn't even use the poison for whatever the cc that came out i wasn't even looking at what that was but gg it's avatar with the triple you know going in hmm or is this Bernal? you guys know hmm as we're seeing some goblins sneaky goblins going in to remove the top side trying to get to this town hall this is Patalino going in. So that means Bernal will be closing it out because Bernal was the last attacker for this side. Can the Sneakies go for the Town Hall? Oh, they're not going for the Town Hall. He's got nine left. Uh-oh. Uh, do they go for the... Okay, yes. Now they are going for the Town Hall. There's this giant bomb and small bomb pulling a ground scout. Drops another one to try to be safe. Okay, they're going on that side. Right, there's the rest of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another one. Another one. Invis. Oh, small bomb. They're going to get pushed. Is that all that it takes to stop them from taking out the town? Oh, no! <laughs> the small bomb! Oh, rip! Really? Oh, no. The town hall stays. Just put one little small bomb next to that town hall. Oh, rip. Well, he had another invis. Decided not to invest it. That town hall staying up is going to be nasty. As now he's pushing his way through the single target inferno towards the monolith. And they got the log launch. You're still going through with that king. We got the poison lizard on the warden as he oh, does pull out the lava hound. Trying to distract that. Okay, the single's gone. Never mind. Don't have to distract it. Does have the warden eternal tome. Has a bunch of super bars. Pops that warden ability as he pushes his way through. The poison's getting launched. That queen is falling behind. The town hall is back to full health because of the builders. Drops the golem off to the right side. Royal champion. He makes her invisible. Rages her up. But that town hall stayed up. I don't know. He could have invested that second invis for the sneakies. But he didn't. And this might cause the town hall not to go down. No, okay. The royal champion secures it for the second star. But, oh, man. Obviously, he did not want to, uh... Invest that second invis, but that may, would that have made all the difference? Would it have allowed him to three star? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Because he obviously wanted to use the world champion somewhere else. Maybe if he got that queen straight into the eagle, he could have sent the world champion to the far right side. It could have been a completely different attack there. Man, very nice try. It's the smallest things. One small bomb. All it takes. Just to push the sneaky goblins just a little bit to ta to throw off the timing to take out the town hall and completely change the attack as the headhunters get absolutely vaporized right there. As it's going to be another one, two star here for this side. So if Q coming in with a three star, that's locks it up. Is in with five giants, seven super. Wall breakers. Yes, yeah, plenty of super wall breakers to be breaking through a base. That's for sure. So we got an eagle off to the left. What does he want to get here? Oh, we have a little hole in the base right there for Bernal. As we got a blimp to fly over. Oh, yeah, look, he took advantage of the hole that I saw. Okay, he's going to have a blizzard. Remove the eagle artillery. Going to try to get the multi, the scatter shot, the monolith, and the enemy queen. There's the next invis. Can he get the queen? Okay, no, not going to reach over the wall there. There's the scatter. That's going down. Okay. Bomb tower goes down. Wizard tower as well would be... Okay, nice little bonus wizard tower as well. Rockland's into the archer tower. That goes down. Six more super wall breakers. Pulls the lava hound in towards the left side. There's the poison spell. Let's see, this is where the hole was, right there. As we've got the minion over there as the right side. Queen is going to make her way to the left. Has two healers. And an E-Dragon to the top side. 
Gonna push this queen towards the ground expo here, towards the town hall. There's the two healers onto her. Clearing that. Gonna take his time. Why did he break this section here? That's my question. He's wall breaking the wizard tower. He's gonna wall break again to charge this queen in with the warden. E-Dragon's dying. There's a Rage Up Yeti's wall break to go for the world champ. Look at this. He's Raged Up the Yeti. Oh, and he cloned. No! No! Oh, no! The clone's not going to do anything. You got to do something. Think, think, think. Don't waste the clone. He wanted to clone the single Yeti, but it didn't work. But he, he did get some value, but he didn't kill off the enemy world champion. Ah! Did the clone get the Yeti mites and not the Yeti? Oh, my. Rip. Oh, no. But hang on. The Royal Champion's following behind into the Scattershot. As the Queen... Oh, can burn the Warden Eternal Tome to protect even longer through the Town Hall. Oh, the Invis was frozen, so that's not going off here. But the Queen's clearing some skellies. RC still going. He's got that King ability. Pops the Warden to protect this Queen. As he's moving through, that King is dying off. He is dead. The RC does have her ability... Uh oh, this Grand Warden's gonna be nasty here. That Grand Warden's gonna do so much. No spells there. Does have a giant, a minor, pops the RC ability, but the enemy Royal Champion gotta send some headhunters to slow her down, but it's not gonna work. The Warden's dying. And this one's gonna fall a bit short, which means that Bernal, with a three star, can tie this war up, and it comes down to the judge voting with some wizards over to the outside. To help get every bit of percentage. But there it is. An 88% two star. With four earthquakes. Four of them. Oh gosh. Okay. Four earthquakes. Five lightning spells as well. We got that queen charge over to the right side. With a golem. And the king. And here we go. Balloons onto the cannon to help secure that, to help force the queen into the scatter shot. We got some ground skeletons popping next to this. In oh, okay. He takes out the... Oh, he's got one more earthquake. I was going to say, he takes out the invisibility spell and the monolith. But he's got one more earthquake to utilize. Not using it just yet. The town hall is not activated. King comes back alive. There's the earthquake. It's a little bit offset. King is dead. Um, this is my question here. The king did not get that multi-target inferno. He got absolutely shredded there. There's a wall break. Oh no, 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 no. The queen ability was forced. Sends the R uses the RC ability, continuing this queen charge, poisons these super minions. But the problem here is this multi is still standing. That's a problem. As he's gonna blimp this town hall. Will he make it to the town hall? It looks like he does. Queen is gonna die. Ah! Oh! Rip the queen too much. He needed the expo and this multi to go down, but the skeletons stalled that king up. And that queen could not continue her charge because he wanted to essentially probably get this queen to move through towards past this eagle, making her way that way. Pops the warden ability. As he's continuing to fly his way around over the world champion. As the balloons are getting pushed back here. A few more balloons around the edges. But the core here was supposed to go down to that queen. Very nice try. As it's going to be just the two star. We'll still see what the final outcome of the judge voting will be. As we have Avatar and Q coming, coming in with the star advantage and percentage advantage right there just gonna be about a 65 trying to get a little bit more but bernal unfortunate nice try with the quad quakes there with that queen charge very nice effort what else is getting hit nothing else that's it right oh he's got some minions down there some little secret minions trying to get every single building i think the splash of the eagle will hit the other oh yeah it does it does oh and it just disappears there it is as it is, a 66% two-star. We will have the judge voting. Um, 
we will uh, take a look at that. But let me go and end this here. Okay. Boom. 